First of all, guys, good to see you again. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, watching the movie last night, it really made me wonder how different our world would be today if Freddy were still with us. And there are so many things going on I'd love to pick his brain about. What is an aspect of our society today that you would love to know Freddy's thoughts on? Well, i, I, I got to be honest. If you think about Freddy, he was a revolutionary because uh, what he did with his life is just preach inclusivity. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy refused to be stereotyped. He broke every convention. Uh, he wouldn't, wouldn't be marginalized. He didn't allow himself to be segregated into one particular group. Uh, I think that's, that's the message that we're all looking for in, in this time in our lives. It, now more than ever, everybody's just saying, hey, can I just be me? Yeah. That's exactly who he was. Yeah, at a time where it wasn't as easy to be like that. No. Which, is, which really shows how brave of a guy he was. Yes. Um, I feel like there's so much tension now. I think yeah. that Freddie would break that mm. because he was always ready to like, have a little jab or yeah, a little, little cheeky quip, joke. Little, yeah, like yes. something just to like kind of like break up that just sort of friction. And so I think that he would be amazing actually right now mm -hmm. as a movie yeah. figure. But one of the beautiful things <laughs> of this movie is showing how all four guys needed the other three in order to succeed and be who they were. For you guys to be able to pull off these performances, how did you need the people sitting next to you in order to succeed? We are inseparable, I'll say that. I can tell based on this I, shot, based on this couch right here. We requested this couch. This <laughs> yeah. 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 We're like, no yeah. larger than yeah. four feet across. Yeah. I was going to come sit over with you guys. I was like, there is no room for me at all on that couch. I would not yeah. fit into Queen. Um, look, we started out with the hardest, uh, the hardest piece of footage, uh, Live Aid, which yeah. is arguably the greatest rock performance of all time. That was day one. And then we shot that for five, six days. And... Uh, by the end of it, we had performed the entire concert three times with massive cranes. It's one of the coolest set pieces in the film. You, when you watch mm -hmm. this film uh, on the big screen, you almost feel like you're right there. And that, that forged us together. It gave us a shorthand. And from then on, it was off to the races, man. Um, obviously, when you only have two hours to tell a story, there are going to be certain things of the story that are left out and sort of just, just don't fit. You just don't have time for it. And some of those things in the story of Freddie Mercury and Queen might have earned you guys an R rating. Are there any sort of R-rated details of this story that maybe you would have just liked to have seen included in the film just because it's a great story? Let me start this one. <laughs> Let me start this one. My, one of my biggest frustrations was with, with the uh, PG-13 rating. You're not allowed to smoke very much. So like obviously this is the 70s. This is like rock and roll. They're like constantly like smoke and other things. And you know, and like constantly just being told, Ben, you can't smoke in this scene. You can't do it. And I'm like, Argh! it's driving me nuts anyway. So yeah. just chain smoking but, yeah. throughout. That's just basically, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We're trying look to at, save your life. life. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to save your life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I did get to smoke a lot, and it, it, it doesn't feel that great all the time, you know. Yeah, so I'm actually happy about that. Part. Fair enough. There were some, some, some parties I read. Some, I read a book leading up to this oh, interview, yeah. and there yeah. were some, some of the parties I think would have made for, for some interesting R-rated scenes. Yeah, I no, we about. shot a lot of that stuff. It'll be in an extended cut. Oh, what's funny is thing. you do know those stories. Mm -hmm. There are little allusions to it in, in, the, uh, in the film. Yes. And you kind of see little things in the background mm -hmm. and go, oh. The, oh yeah. 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 It's not censored, just hinted at in a really yeah. beautifully artistic way. I think you guys did an amazing well, job. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can, look, if you see cocaine on a table, mm -hmm. then I think you start to wonder how much uh, has been imbibed, right? Mm -hmm. Just what's going on in someone's head psychologically. It's almost more interesting. Some times than watching a guy sit down and do five rails a blow. Exactly. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Guys, well, you absolutely nailed it. I, I've got 10,000 more questions I could ask you, but seriously, thank you so much for your time. I'll, I'll tell you one more thing. No, thank you. Sorry to cut you no, off. No, please. But you know, there, there is the, the film, there's a film where you do the very hedonistic, uh, illicit, explicit, gratuitous side, but you don't get to s celebrate this human being who means so much to so many people. I mean, what he is going to be able to do for a new generation, give them the voice, make them feel emboldened and powerful. That's what you want to see, that aspect of his life. So showing certain, we don't shy away from anything, mm -hmm. but what we're here to do is show you an, an icon, someone we refer to as a, refer to as a rock god, mm -hmm. but a real, true, generous, beautiful, gorgeous human being, and uh, four of them in total, <laughs> uh, and beyond that. A really special film that means a lot to us. Thank you.